So if you've been watching these videos, you know that we have a lot of scenarios where people seem to be walking up to us on the street and asking us to do math problems. And I guess this will be no different. So let's say someone walks up to you on the street and says, quick, you, x squared plus 5x plus 8 over x plus 2. What can this be simplified to? Or what is x squared plus 5x plus 8 divided by x plus 2? Pause this video and see if you can work through that. So there's two ways that we can approach this. We can try to factor our numerator and see if we have a common factor there. Or we can try to use algebraic long division. So let's first try to factor this numerator. And we would ideally want x plus 2 to be one of the factors. So let's see, what two numbers can add up to 5? And when I multiply them, I get to 8. And ideally, 2 is one of them. So I could think of 2 and 3. But 2 times 3 is going to be equal to 6, not 8. And I can't think of anything else. But that still makes, gives us some progress. Because what if we did say, all right, let's rewrite part of it. What if we were to write x squared plus 5x? And we want to write a plus 6, because that actually would be divisible by x plus 2. So I'm going to write a plus 6. But of course, we have an 8 here. So then we're going to have an extra 2 right over there. And then all of that is divisible by x plus 2. And now I can rewrite this part up here in orange. That is x plus 2 times x plus 3. So let me write it here. x plus 2 times x plus 3. I still have that plus 2 sitting out there in the numerator. Plus 2. And then all of that over x plus 2. Or I could write this as being over x plus 2, and this being over x plus 2. All I did is I said, hey, if I have something plus something else over x plus 2, that could be the first something over x plus 2 plus the second something over x plus 2. And then here, we could say, hey, look, this first part, as long as x does not equal negative 2, because then we would be changing the domain, then these two would cancel out. What you could say, hey, I'm just dividing the numerator and the denominator by x plus 2. And so this would be equal to x plus 3 plus, and I don't necessarily even have to put parentheses there, plus 2 over, over x plus 2. And I would have to constrain the, the domain. So this is for x does not equal negative 2. So in this situation, we had a remainder. And people will refer to the 2 as the remainder. We divide it as far as we can, but we still have, it still remains to be done to divide the 2 by x plus 2. And so we would refer to the 2 as the remainder. Now that wasn't too difficult, but it also wasn't too straightforward. And we'll see that in this is a situation where the algebraic long division is actually a little bit more straightforward. So let's try that out. And once again, pause this video and see if you can figure out what this is through algebraic long division. So we're trying to take x plus 2 and divide it into x squared plus 5x plus 8. Look at the highest degree terms, the x and the x squared. x goes into x squared x times. Put it in the first degree column. x times 2 is 2x. x times x is x squared. Subtract these from x squared plus 5x. And we get 5x minus 2x is 3x. x squared minus x squared, that's just 0. Bring down that 8. Look at the highest degree term. And we get x goes into 3x three times. Put that in the constant column, or the 0 degree column. So plus 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times x is 3x, subtract d's. And we're left with, let me scroll down a little bit. You're left with, those cancel out, and you're left with 8 minus 6, which is indeed equal to 2. And we could say, hey, we don't really know how to divide x plus 2 into 2 for an arbitrary x. So we will say, hey, this is going to be equal to x plus 3 with a remainder, with a remainder of 2. Now once again, if you wanted to rewrite that original expression and you wanted it to be completely the same, including the domain, you would have to constrain, you would have to constrain the domain just like that.